Hello everybody, Legend for Life here, bringing you guys a brand new video. So, uh, this time around we are talking about all the new Spiral stuff. Uh, I know the last of it was announced a while ago, and I didn't get around to it. I was working my butt off, I had work, and uh, just tons of school stuff, it was obnoxious. Anyways, so, uh, I think I covered Sleeper in a previous video. Uh, if you can't remember, he's pretty good, he banished three guys, while well, Spiral cards from your grave, supposed to summon him. You can pop a spiral on your, um, yeah, the, the, a spiral card you control and up to two cards your opponent controls, destroy them. And if he's destroyed, nuke your field, spell summon a super agent from your hand, deck, or grave. Really good stats, though. Uh, the card's okay. I like him a lot. I think due to just the lack of support for spirals, he's probably going to be a three of. Uh, and also, the deck doesn't really have a boss monster, and I guess Sleeper's the boss monster. Uh, so, anyways, with the rest of the spiral stuff, let's get on with the topic. Uh, sorry I didn't talk about this stuff sooner, guys. I don't like talking about one card at once. And whenever it comes to these, uh, uh, TCG exclusive archetypes, I like to try and wait for all the stuff to be revealed so I can talk about everything as a whole and, you know, give you guys a full actual opinion on how all these cards work together and everything. So, yeah, let's get on with this. So, First up, we have Spiral Gear, Last Resort, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but does that look like a secret rare? <laughs> Why is this thing a secret rare? This looks so much like a secret rare, and that scares me. Uh, then again, the deck doesn't have a secret rare yet, so I guess it would make sense I did finally give them a secret rare. But why give it to this card, which is arguably one of the best cards in the deck? Sparrow Gear, Last Resort, level 4, Earth Machine type effect monster. Uh, attack 1000, defense 1000, everything about this here is irrelevant pretty much. You can target one spiral monster you control, equip this monster from your hand or field to that target. While this card is equipped to a monster by this effect, the equipped monster cannot be stored by battle or card effects. Also, your opponent cannot target it with card effects. Uh, once per turn, if this card is equipped to a monster by this effect, you can send one other card you control to the graveyard. The equipped monster can attack directly this turn. So, you equip it onto like your spiral monster. And it becomes super big and buff, can't be destroyed by battle or card effects, and cannot be targeted by card effects, and you can send another card you control to the graveyard to let it attack directly. Well then, this card is a no decay machine. <laughs> so, you equip it onto like uh, your super agent or whatever, and then you like normal summon a uh, good old little drone, activate machine dupe, special summon two more drones, use all three drones effect, increase uh big guys affect uh, attack power by oh let's just say even just by a thousand okay that's three thousand more attack power for him putting him at let's see the 4900 okay you activate spiral resort well actually you should already have it up anyways spiral resort protects this card as well so uh spiral resort protects this and this protects your super agent and then you set a card you use uh last resort's effect sending your face down to the graveyard and then you can now punch your opponent in the face for 4900 damage yeah that seems fair the only out your opponent has to this thing is a freaking kaiju i like this a lot. Well, that and they also have Ignister after playing Pendulums. But anyways, this card is really good. I like it a lot. It's super powerful. It gives Spirals an easy, somewhat easy uh, win condition because now they can just poke directly for a crap ton of damage. I really, really like this card. It's really good. Can It's really scary and can lead to a lot of OTKs. Next up, we got a new Spiral Mission, uh, Rescue, Spiral Mission Rescue, Continuous Trap Card. Destroy this card during your third end phase after activation. Once per turn, you can target a Spiral Monster in your graveyard, return it to the hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard and target a Spiral in your grave. Special Summon it, you can only control one Spiral Mission Rescue. Uh, obviously they had to put that on there, because all the other Spiral Missions don't have that. And let me just tell you, Spiral Mission Assault is stupid if you have multiples out, because... Oh, hey, Special Summon Agent, Effect, Target, uh, Back Row, Destroy It. Okay, I have all three assaults, draw three. <laughs> so I can only imagine how stupid this thing would be if you could control multiples. Oh, hey, all three of my drones are engraved. Effects, add them all back to my hand. I have now have pluses for days. Uh, really, really good card in general, overall. Uh, just being able to grab back your stuff from your graveyard. The only real stuff that you really want is Sleeper, Last Resort, and other things. The big reason is, is that you already have Resort that shuffles your monsters back into your deck every turn. And generally speaking, that's more preferable for the deck, except for getting Super Agent to your hand. Uh, but in general, though, this card is really good overall. I don't know how many I'd play. I'd probably play two just in case. It is searchable by Master Plan, though. That's a big thing. Uh, so I don't know. Two of maybe-ish? 
I love the artwork, though. <laughs> uh, I sort of, this makes me want a freaking spiral movie. I don't even like James Bond movies, but this makes me want a spiral movie. <laughs> uh, and we got the last card. Uh, spiral gear, fully armed, and it's equipped spell. Uh, I swear, to, this tells, this looks like it tells a freaking amazing story, okay? So we got, like, uh, the, the spiral super agent, we got, like, his boss, I'm assuming, uh, which is Sleeper, and then, like, oh, hey, Sleeper turns out to be a bad guy, and then, oh, hey, after they beat him and save, uh, Quick Fix, who's, uh, he's, he's not in, he's not in a good, uh, situation there, uh, he wears, uh, uh, freaking crap, what's his name? Sleeper's uh, armor gear thingy. I don't know what this thing's called. Uh, gauntlet. Kind of looks like a dual disc. <laughs> Am I the only one who thinks that? Looks like a dual disc. Uh, he starts wearing that to honor his uh, former master. That's my general idea of it. I don't know if that's how the story goes, but that's what I guess. Uh, I kind of hope that's the case because it sounds really cool. I don't know if. Uh, I know that like over in Japan they do like these things where they like release so, like. A tidbit of the lore behind cards and everything but like we don't get that over here heck we don't even get the ones that do come out over in japan we don't get those at all you got to go into the wiki and read them which really really sucks come on Konami, please release those that or make a freaking Yu-Gi-Oh! dual terminal anime already that'd be awesome Anyway, so, got off on a little tangent there. Spiral gear, fully armed, equipped spell card. You could only do a spiral super agent. I don't like it that, he can, that this card can only equip onto a super agent. I'm going to be honest right then and there. This card should have been able to equip onto any of your spirals. Whoops. Uh, but equipping it only onto super agent, I get it. Yeah, he's a starter shield. You got two of them technically with spiral tough and spiral super agent. But irregardless, this card really should have been able to equip on anybody, or at least uh, on a sleeper, uh, for that matter. At least on a sleeper or a super agent. Uh, but irregardless, it gains tw well, I almost said 2100. It gains 1000 attack power. And if it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can banish both your opponent's monster that, that was destroyed and one other card your opponent controls. When this face-up card on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target one super agent in your graveyard, special summon it. Overall, a really good card, I, at least in my personal opinion. This card allows you to just go for that OTK even better, because now you're a uh, last resorted, uh, triple freaking <laughs> droned uh, super agent. Now becomes, instead of 4900, 5900, and that's just that much more closer to an OTK. Uh, this card is pretty good in general, I like it. It's really awesome, just being able to banish a monster, non-targeting banish another card your opponent controls. Really scary card. And of course, it is an equip spell, so that's a bit of an issue. But, however, in general, this card is a pretty good card. I like it. So, guys, that's all the new Spiral stuff. Uh, I like everything from it, honestly. Same thing with the Subterror stuff. I can't really say anything negative about it. I mean, do... I think they could have done a bit better with, like, Sleeper. Yeah, they could have. And, honestly, Mission could have been a bit better. But, for the last bit of support, I think this is pretty good overall. Like, none of these cards are bad. I don't get why people are hating on them so much, but uh, I don't know. Let me guys, let me know what your guys' opinions are. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and see you all later. Peace.